There are a lot of talk show hosts and radio hosts that have different opinions. It doesn't mean you have to go some go after somebody's patriotism that happens to be a war hero. Well, that's what Tucker Carlson did on Monday night. And if you haven't heard it, it was one of the most. And he said a lot of disgusting things on his show. This tops the cake as far as as, as far as I go. He went after Senator Tammy Duckworth. If you don't know who Senator Tammy Duckworth is, she is a Purple Heart recipient. She lost both of her legs in Iraq, serving this country honorably, risking her life. She'll never walk again so that Tucker Carlson could have the freedom. And why is Tucker Carlson going after her? All Tammy Duckworth did in regards to the monument issue is she said that there needs to be a dialogue about it. That's what she said. And that's what made Tucker Carlson question her patriotism. If you didn't hear it and you don't know what I'm talking about, the words from Tucker Carlson's mouth, have a listen to this. So what to make of all of this? Well, it's long been considered out of bounds to question a person's patriotism. It's a very strong charge, and we try not ever to make it. But in the face of all of this, the conclusion can't be avoided. These people actually hate America. There's no longer a question about that. And yet, paradoxically, at the same time, they desperately want to control America more than anything. And that leads to the most basic of all questions. Can you really lead a country that you hate? Ask yourself, what kind of parent would you be if you hated your children? Yeah, re real great take there, Tucker. By the way, Tucker also said she is a sitting senator, mocking the fact that she lost her legs at war fighting for this country. Tucker never served this country. And this is what even makes matters worse. Usually, if you remember the last time Tucker Carlson said something ridiculous, he all of a sudden went on a fishing vacation the next week. You know, I hope Tucker Carlson, I really mean this. I hope Tucker Carlson goes on a fishing expedition and loses his legs. And then I'll question his patriotism. What a piece of human scum Tucker Carlson is. But you know what? There's people out there that love Fox News that are going to disagree with me. Nothing wrong with going after Tammy Duckworth. Nothing wrong with going after her patriotism. So what? So she lost both her legs in Iraq. He has the right to do that. Freedom of speech. The same idiots who are talking about the freedom not to wear their masks. Same people. So last night, Tucker Carlson decided to double down. That's right. He didn't apologize. He didn't do what 99.9% .9 of society would do when they know they did something wrong. They said something wrong. Tucker Carlson decided to double down on his disgusting words in attacking Tammy Duckworth. Uh, Tammy Duckworth. Now he's calling her a coward for not coming on his show. Have a listen to this. So we called her office and we invited her on the show. Her flack informed us that before even considering our request, we must first issue a public apology for criticizing Tammy Duckworth. In other words, I will not debate you until first you admit you're completely wrong. Keep in mind, Tammy Duckworth is not a child, at least not technically. She is a sitting United States senator who is often described as a hero Yet Duckworth is too afraid to defend her own statements on a cable TV show. What a coward. You piece of crap. You think that she is a coward because she doesn't want to do your stupid television show? Hey, you piece of garbage. She lost both of her legs in Iraq serving this country. She risked her life for this country. She almost died, and she'll never walk again. So pieces of garbage like yourself are able to go on TV and say hateful things. You're not criticizing her. There's, here's what criticism would have been, you son of a bitch. Here's what criticism would have been. If you went on TV on Monday and you said, I respect Tammy Duckworth for serving this nation. I disagree with her politics about this issue because of these reasons. That would have been criticism, and it would have been fair criticism. And Tammy probably would have come on your show. But the fact that she wants an apology first, and by the way, she's not even saying she's not going to come on your show. She's saying she will only consider coming on if you apologize for questioning her patriotism after losing both of her legs in Iraq, you piece of garbage. God, this gets me so angry. And there are people out there that sponsor this man's show. All they care about is money. Tucker Carlson never served this country. Heck, I never served this country. But every single person that calls into this show, and I'm not a perfect human being by any means. I have my faults. But every single person that calls into this show, I don't care whether they're a Trump supporter. I don't care if they're a Republican. I don't care who they are. I always thank them for their service because I know without them, I wouldn't be able to go on the radio. 
I wouldn't be able to call people idiots. I wouldn't be able to attack people. I wouldn't be able to do what I love to do every day, and that's talk to you folks every day, if not for people like Tammy Duckworth. This has nothing to do with politics. I'm sorry, Tucker Carlson, you are a son of a bitch. And when Donald Trump called the kneeling players son of a bitches, no, they're not the son of a bitches. Son of a bitches are people that are on television that go after veterans, those who lost both their limbs. Those are the son of a bitches of society. Tucker is an awful human being. And by the way, it's not a mistake when he says she is a sitting senator. He is mocking the fact that she lost both of her legs in Iraq risking her life for this country. And what is so wrong for Tammy Duxworth's people to say she'll consider coming on your show, which I'm amazed she would even consider it, by the way. What is so wrong of considering only if you apologize? What is wrong with being a man instead of the scumbag that you are, Tucker Carlson? What is wrong with saying, you know what? I let my emotions get the best of me, and I'm sorry. Now, if he did that, I probably wouldn't believe well, his apology. But why can't he do that? I want to open up the phone lines. 702 Two five seven five three nine six. Again, that number to call is two five seven five three nine six. Folks, I'm getting chest pains just thinking about this. The fact that this man is attacking a hero, somebody who lost both of le both of her legs in Iraq uh, for risking her life for this country, and it's the same thing. When Donald Trump, make no mistake about it, when Donald Trump went after John McCain and his service to this country, and for political purposes. Donald Trump didn't like John McCain, so what did he do? He said he didn't respect John McCain because he was captured. It's the same line of thinking. But no, Brian, you, you're, you're just a liberal. You sound like a lefty. Why? Because I think every veteran should be respected. Because I think every vet veteran should uh, Their patriotism being questioned? This woman lost both of her legs, for Christ's sake. How could anybody support Tucker Carlson now? How could anybody watch his show and say, I like Tucker Carlson. I think he's a really smart guy. Oh, and by the way, somebody who was a former program director of mine, a former boss of mine, I'm not going to say what station she was at, but people who know me know who she is. She went on social media six months ago, and she said how what a great guy Tucker Carlson is, what a smart guy he is. And I responded in kind, and I said, there's nothing smart about this man when he says the idea of white supremacy is a hoax. And you know what she did? She didn't respond. She just blocked me. What, tell me, what is smart? You know who you are. She doesn't live here anymore, but what is smart about a man who goes on television attacking a war veteran and a Purple Heart recipient in Tammy Duckworth? What is smart about attacking a woman saying she is a sitting senator, somebody who lost both of her legs in Iraq? Tell me what is smart about that. The dummy who put that post, I, I, I am ashamed that she was my boss. It disgusts me that I had to listen to this woman. And what a shocker that she's not in the radio business anymore because she's a moron. And it's disgusting to me. And anybody who defends Tucker Carlson is disgusting. Let me give out the number one more time. 702-257-5396. Again, that number is 257-5396 if you want to be a part of the conversation. I was just going to add that he also called her a moron last night and made a point of calling her a member of the Illinois National Guard, which may be factual, but, you know, I, I would prefer – and I think most veterans would prefer that he emphasize the fact that she was a lieutenant in the Army, a Purple Heart recipient who, like you mentioned, lost her legs. And uh, and also, real quick, to your point about he should, if he if he did apologize, which he probably never would, that he would say, "Oh, well, my emotions got the best of me." That's a scripted. That's a scripted monologue. T Tucker Carlson's looking directly into a teleprompter. There was no emotion. He didn't get carried away. He wrote that, or someone wrote that for him. It was it was rehearsed. So that's what I would say to that, Brian. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just so disgusting to me, and uh, it gets me so frustrated. But uh, what do you guys think out there? Is there any defense to Tucker Carlson? Is there any defense to the fact that uh, you know Tucker Carlson going after this woman, going after her patriotism, somebody who lost both of her legs in Iraq? I want to hear from you. Seven zero two two five seven. Five three nine six. Let's start off with Richard. Richard, you're first up here on the Vegas Take. What's going on? Hello. How are you doing? Doing good, Richard. What's on your mind? Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm a veteran, number one, and I and I've called you before. And I wish you would have played the whole thing that he said. If she's, you know, if he says that, I'm I'm disgusted with the sitting senator and all that stuff. But what he had said earlier is that she voted against the veterans bill when she was in office, and that pissed me off because I I cannot get help from the Veterans Club until okay. Trump funded it. 
she voted against. So does that mean she's? Why? Does that mean? So does that mean she hates America, sir? I don't think that she means that she hates America. No. Okay. It's a legitimate question. Why did she vote against? More okay. Money so we're talking about. All right, fair enough. We're talking about a policy question. You don't like her vote on a specific issue, and you're totally entitled to that. But does that give Tucker Carlson the right to go after her patriotism? Does that give Tucker I Carlson said, the right to do that? No, I said absolutely not. I, I said no. I, I agree that it does not. You know, yeah. and uh, But I was uh, really upset with her because I used to live in Illinois and voted for her, and then she votes against against veterans and well, that's listen really i don't know because i lost so many brothers i understand i understand and i appreciate your service and you have a right to be upset and to be honest with you sir i don't know the answer to that i don't know why she voted the way she voted here's what i do know though and i, th I hope sir we both can agree on this one i really do i hope we can both agree on this like yourself tammy duckworth risked her life for this country tammy duckworth was severely injured she lost both of her limbs she risked her life, not because she hates America, I'm sure because she believes in America. And after risking her life and coming back, she decided to become a politician, a successful one at that. She won, I believe, the first person from Thailand to be in the Senate. And uh, I think that is uh, somebody that we should look up to. Now, if you disagree with some of her politics, some of her policies, that's fine. Tucker Carlson could have easily done that without questioning her patriotism. Tucker Carlson could have, I do it all the time. I didn't agree with John McCain. I didn't agree with a lot of his politics, but I always respected the man. And I'll always have respect for anybody, including yourself, sir, who risked their life so that I can go on the radio every day and spout out and do what I love to do every single day. And I never forget that. Never. And you shouldn't either, and I don't think you do. And that's what gets me so frustrated about the Tucker Carlson's of the world. They have no business having the platform they have. I get it. It's a free country, right? You can say whatever you want. You could hold up a sign on a public sidewalk and say, I hate black people. You could do that, but there are consequences to your actions. And, you know, Tucker Carlson, this isn't about politics. It shouldn't be about politics. Tucker Carlson called a woman a coward for not coming on his show. A coward. Somebody who risked her life for this country. How do we not have a problem with that, ladies and gentlemen? Number to call, 702-257-5396 if you want to be a part of the program. Let's go to Carl. Carl, you're next on the Vegas take. Yeah, hey, Brian. Um, and was it Chris with you? Uh, uh, no, I am flying solo, my friend, but we have our producer oh, here, okay. Jason Stein. Sorry. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, listen, um, in regard to Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump, let me explain something real quick. Psychologically, uh, cowards like to put down heroes it tries it, it it makes them tries to bring them to their level if you understand what i'm saying yeah i do yeah they try to bring down heroes to make themselves feel better about them being cowards the psychological condition I and agree. one quick last my last point about the uh, the virus so you, did you ever hear of herman cain Yes, he contracted the virus okay. a few days ago. Yes, sir. And did you ever hear of Kimberly Guilfoyle? Absolutely. Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend? I think, uh, I think a lot of men have heard about Kimberly Guilfoyle. Okay. Yes, yes, well, Carl, I agree. Both attended, well, they both attended rallies without masks, screaming and cheering and all. And there's an old saying that says, chickens come home to roost, if you know where I'm going No, I that. Listen, I understand what you're saying, Carl, and uh, certainly I don't wish – anything bad upon any of these people. I hope they recover. But if you're dumb enough not to wear a mask and you're dumb enough to put yourself at risk and others at risk, I have no sympathy for you. So, Carl, I totally understand where you're coming from. Talking about Tucker Carlson, the comments he made about Tammy Duckworth doubling down in his comments, not only going after her patriotism, now calling her a coward. It is and, absolutely uh, disgusting. President Trump actually tweeted out the segment. Yeah, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised that President Donald Trump retweeted something that is utterly disgusting? Two five seven five three nine six. Let's go to Roger. Roger, you're next on the Vegas take. Roger, go ahead. You're next. Hey, uh, how you doing? Good. What's on your mind? Hey, uh, well, see, as a, I haven't actually served in the service myself, but my brother did, and uh, you know, I stayed out there with him out in uh, Tacoma, Washington. They was over at Fort Lewis, Washington, and I met a lot of soldiers during that time, and I gained the, the utmost respect for our military and our soldiers especially our veterans that, you know, have seen war 
and uh, have been, you know, injured in war and so forth and so on. And what that guy said was completely disgusting, as you said, and as many others have said. And, uh, you know, anybody who doesn't respect veterans uh, evidently doesn't know the uh, significance or the value, you know, of, of freedom and uh, right. what those veterans have done for this country. Absolutely, and God bless your brother for for serving. And uh, I'll say this as well, and, and I'm, uh, you know, this is an interesting one. Maybe you can tell me if you find it interesting. Isn't it interesting that the man who dodged the military four times is the one that is the one that retweets Tucker Carlson going after someone who is a war hero? Isn't it interesting that the man who dodged the military four times is the one that goes after POWs? Don't you find that somewhat interesting? It's interesting. Absolutely. You know, and, and if anything, he's a coward. And the guy, who, you know, who we're talking about, uh, dodged the military four times and so forth. So they're cowards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anybody yeah. who haven't, you know, been in those shoes, you know, even as a family member of, of, of people who've been, you know, gone to war and whatnot like that, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely pissed that they would even say anything like that. I think Tucker Carlson, uh, you know, should be off the air. I'll say it right now. He should be off the air. I mean, to me, it's one thing It's one thing if you make a mistake. It's another thing if you double down on your mistake. And I didn't say it yesterday. Yesterday I openly criticized him and I called him disgusting because I think he is. But the fact that he had 24 hours to think about it and he doubled down on those comments last night and called her a coward, take this guy off the air. But you know what? Fox News won't do that because all they care about is money. And sadly, in right. the media today, all they care about is the dollar bill and ratings. It took how many how many lawsuits and how much money did Fox News had to pay out because of Bill O'Reilly's sexcapades? Because the guy just couldn't get paid. It couldn't get laid normally. He had to sexually harass women. How many years did Roger Ailes put all this stuff under the rug? Another sexual predator himself. Harvey Weinstein, right. another one. You know, they, they do right. it for years and years until there's nothing more they can do. You know, for how many years was Kevin Spacey you know, uh, molesting kids before Hollywood finally said, all right, we can't do it anymore. It's got nothing to do with right. Republican and Democrat. What more is it going to take? Is Tucker Carlson going to have to say the N-word on the air? I mean, what what does right. it take? Right. It's like, you know, Fox News to me is disgusting. It's all there about is propaganda and BS. That's just my opinion, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they support people like that. And, and that's weird, you know what I'm saying, especially, you know, in times like now, you know, we got the, the, the pandemic going on and, you know, what what coward would bash a, a veteran, you know what I mean, or any veteran, you know? You're right. And, You're right. Uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. And, and and thank you for the call, Roger, and, and for your family service to this country. We appreciate you. And I could not agree with you more. There should be uh, sacred cows, no matter what you think of someone's politics or what they say. You shouldn't be able to go after them for their military service, especially when they've been injured or someone's, you know, age like people are doing with Joe Biden mm -hmm. and making fun of his mental. Ab I mean, would you do that to your grandparents? Of course not. Uh, and then race and religion. I mean, let's just leave that stuff out and say, hey, I disagree with Tammy Duckworth listen, I and I disagree with the way she sa said this and voted on this. That's fine. But to say she hates America, which is ridiculous, when she's got two prosthetic limbs, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. And listen, I'm the first person, you know, I've been in the radio business for almost 20 years now. I'm the first person that'll say I am not for cancel culture. I am not for people losing their jobs if they say stupid things or they make a mistake. I think if you make a mistake and you say something that is wrong, you should apologize for it. But I'm going to tell you something. When you, when you say something as horrible as what Tucker Carlson said in going after this woman's patriotism after losing both of her legs, fighting for our freedoms, and then you have 24 hours to think about it, and make no mistake about it, Tucker's not a dumb guy. He knew what he said was wrong. He had 24 hours to think about it, but he's thinking about one thing, publicity, money, ratings. And then he doubled down on it last night. It's kind of like if you use the N-word, right, and, and thankfully, none of my friends use that word. If they did, I would have a serious problem with it. But uh, if, if you use the N-word and you say something horrible like that, if you immediately apologize and you understand what you said was wrong and it hurt people, that's one thing. Maybe you could be forgiven. But if you double down on it the next day and say the word again, should we feel sorry for you if you lose your job? The answer is no. You know, and these people make it out that they can say whatever they want on the radio. It just absolutely makes absolutely no sense to me at all.